Previously, we literally destroyed Manchester City in our Champions League group stage matches. Julian Brandt opens the scoring for the team and Mukoku with his incredible left foot scored a brace and made an historical win for Dortmund. As the Mukoku saga continues, the match against Leipzig was another treat for us as he scored an another superb hat-trick and gets us the three points. That's all about the previous one. So hello and welcome back to another career mode episode of Borussia Dortmund and let's try to bring this team back to glory. Before moving on, as usual we are at first position with 36 points and Leverkusen is just behind us with 32 points and talking about our season objectives, I think we'll be able to clear all the objectives because of the progress we have made till now. Now I will invest on our youth because this is a place where youth become superstars. Moving on to our next match which is against Freiburg, home advantage for us. We are going with our starting lineup. Let's get the three points. Alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually. the challenge that was required so a corner here and now the delivery well thumped clear Brandt Brandt in with a chance and a goal to open the scoring no wonder Play and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it... On a pass that lacks quality. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Struggling to get it away. Another win and we continue to maintain our top spot. Haller is back on scoring, which is a good news for the team. So let's try to continue this. Moving on to our final group stage match, as you can see, we have won all our matches in this group stage. The match against Sevilla, let's try to add this one also in the list. Is the focus. Top marksman in the Champions League, can he add to his haul this evening? Hello everyone, luckily we're dry and undercover, but there's certainly no let up in the rain here in Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is this final group stage game in the Champions League. It is Borussia Dortmund taking on Sevilla. Well, thanks, Derek. It's a real pleasure to be here. What a great atmosphere we've got. Oh, no, Alain! And just first happened in the City game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal from Manchester City. It's now 1-0 with 10 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Sevilla recovering possession well. And he's through here. Will he? Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. This group by the scruff of the neck. Well, they've made it look easy, haven't they? They've played some great football and they've just been too good for their opponents so far. To jump in front. Well, the keeper had a lot. Oh, a nice looking pass. And they could do damage. Here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Majority of possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Will he finish? Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. 
Well, here it is again. The cross is inch perfect and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Must score! And a five in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Opportunity it is. gone short with it delivered into the area here and a bit short with the clearance superb defensive and he's through here and it's in all square again what a match this is turning out to be well let's see this again he tries to run out with the ball he has the ball taken off of him he's made the wrong decision and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net terrible defending and into the last 30 minutes now. Oh, what an astonishing goal! Almost from a different postal code. That was as clean as a whistle. You cannot strike them any better than that. Well, here it is again. And just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. the delivery the crossbar got in the way and a goal it is the keeper really not part of the equation well just watch this again he's bright he's hungry and he's determined that's a good finish and toward happen Adeyemi and still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be all oh, so important. Let's see this again. Because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, how about this? 4-3. And now it is truly final. The match is over. Well, I think what I can say with that. performance and what a match it was. The only word that can describe this game is crazy. Sevilla really played very well. They really gave a hard time to our defense. But whenever we thought the match was over, Julian Brandt was there to save the team. Julian Brandt with his hat-trick just wretched a world-class performance in the history of Dortmund. All three goals were amazing. Marlene also scored a crucial goal which gets us through to the next round in style. Next up is another away from home Bundesliga match against VFL Bochum. I'll quick sim this. There we go, another win and another perfect day for us. Haller again scored a brace, looks like he's back in form. Next up is important matchup against Mainz as we all know what happened in the previous season against Mainz. This is the time to take revenge for that match. This will be the final lineup. Let's win this, guys. A warm welcome, and this is the scene here at the Zignali Duna Park. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It is Borussia Dortmund, and they take on Mainz. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Just needs to get it out of there.
And it was a fine result for Borussia Dortmund in their last game against Bochum. What do you expect this time, Stuart? That away victory was a really good performance. Today, I think we'll see them dominate the play. Oh, Great. Stuart, they've got to score! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just... Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace. Brandt! Oh, he squandered the opportunity. He might be relieved, though, to see that... Leandro Barreiro. He's in here. A superb chance, but he's failed the test. Wolf with it. No potential danger. Are oh, they going to forge ahead? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. If the attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And will it be the leveller? Oh, he saved it well. And played the pass well. Emre Can. He takes aim. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal. With only a one goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. And a goal here for Borussia Dortmund. Can they be stopped? Well, here it is again. He's alive to the situation. He makes good contact with the ball and he keeps it down. That's a nice headed goal. Let's go, everyone. That's the win I expected from the team. Mukoku and Adiebi, perfect pair for this team right now. Who can deliver whenever we need them. Alvarez also scored the goal, which gets us the win in the end. Moving on to our final match of this year, which is against Bremen. Haller will be at bench and Adiemi is in good form. He'll be starting in this match. So I'll quick sim this. There we go. A good way to end the year. Mukoku with a brace. Adiemi and Ben Sebaini both in the score sheet. This Mukoku Adiemi pair is really working out, guys. So now let's move on to our another important match against Leipzig. We just can't ignore this team because they have the capability to outperform us. This will be the final lineup. Let's see how it goes. Atmosphere is building. This one is always a classic, but what drama will we have for you today? And a warm welcome to the Zignal Iduna Park. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga properly. Could be... My goodness, that save! Bloody stretched he was! Trying to lap the field. Well, there seems to be no stopping them at the moment. They've been by far and away the best team. Unless something drastic happens, I can't see how they let this slip. Has eyes for goal! And saved by the keeper. And I think the threat has been averted. This might be ideal for the counter. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive position, but in the end, it's far too... A goal for Freiburg. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. Good technique displayed. And cutting inside. And now it is there for him. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. Firing it towards goal! And fired against the crossbar! And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage! Well, here's the replay, and look how quickly he reacts. That's great awareness from him. Kunku. Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted merely minutes. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish. Passing infield here. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. 
Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. To give them the lead here. In it goes! Coley converts it! Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before placing... The Dortmund. Emre Can. Ben Sabaini. And now Brandt in position. And a goal to seal the hat-trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Excellent defending. He must tread carefully here. Keeper's in trouble. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, here it is again. And you have to say, he looks so uncomfortable with the ball at his feet. He's... We faced our second defeat in this Bundesliga campaign in a most unexpected way. First of all, I really messed up with that final goal. I don't know what I was trying to do, but it really didn't go very well. It ended up pretty bad and gave away an easy goal for Leipzig to win the game. Even though Mugoku scored an amazing hat-trick once again, and also our team has played very well, so let's bounce back and try to win the game. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I have seen that so many of you didn't subscribe to the channel. So I request everyone to please subscribe to the channel and support this series and video so I can bring such more exciting content for you. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next episode. Fir milte hai.